You know that wiggly line animation style you used to see on shows all the time? That's called a line boil and it's an intentional stylistic throwback to hand-drawn animation from the past. Have you ever wanted to do that line boil style in your own animated projects? Well, in this video I'll show you a technique that's super easy to do in Adobe Animate, so stick around. A few years ago, I worked on a show called Breadwinners. It was made in Adobe Animate, which was called Flash back then, and it was one of the most fun shows I've ever worked on. Ever since working on Breadwinners, I've incorporated that same line boil technique into my own personal animated shorts and games. And here's how you do it. First things first, we're gonna need to set up our symbols so our boiling lines can loop. I got my sketch of Danny Boyle here, and I'm just gonna go through and draw each piece and symbolize them. If you're not familiar with setting up characters using symbols, I cover that in my video Sketch to Animation. If you haven't seen it, watch that video first, then come back to this one. Now that you have all your symbols set up and ready to go, it's time to start boiling some lines. The onion skin tool is your friend. You're gonna wanna create a new empty keyframe, turn that onion skin on, and trace your first drawing. Try not to be too accurate or your line boil will be too subtle. When it's time to do the third drawing, we want to make sure we trace the first original drawing and not the second one. The reason for this is because if you trace the next drawing and then the next and so on and so forth, your drawings start to travel across the screen. Tracing the original drawing for each new drawing in the boil will keep your drawings from traveling all over the place. So how does the number of drawings change the boiling effect? I made three versions of Danny Boyle here. Can you see the difference? The boil with two drawings gives a more jittery feeling, but put three drawings in there and the boil feels less dramatic. A four drawing boil feels even less so. I find going for more than four drawings in a boil a bit pointless. Three is the sweet spot for me. You can also control the look with the timing. Here's what the boil looks like on 12 frames per second versus 24 frames per second. Which one do you prefer? It all depends on the look you're going for. So, that's how you get a hand-drawn wiggly line look in Adobe Animate. Pretty simple, right? My hope with this video is to encourage you to use line boil in your own animated projects. I feel like we don't see much of it in modern shows, and that's a real shame because it's such a cool style. Thanks again, and like and subscribe and all that stuff, and I'll see you next time.